Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am back with another session on Rasa Chatbot. And as you all know that Rasa has released its new version which is Rasa 2.0. version 2.0 and also rasa 2.0 is coming up with the new exciting features which you will definitely love and we will be discussing all about them in our new and the upcoming sessions so stay tuned to our channel so that you will not miss anything so we will not cover everything in the today's session but yeah for sure in today's session i am going to show you that how you can do the installation of rasa 2.0 onto your local machine and right now i will be using the ubuntu system so on that i will be showing you like how you can do all the things and also if you don't know like how to do it onto the windows system or the mac system then don't worry i will leave a link in the description below so that you can check that and accordingly you can install it onto your operating system whichever you are using so this is all that we will be doing in this session. Now let's get started and let's see how you can do that. All right. So let's understand how we can do the installation of Rasa 2.0 or let's say Rasa open source. So for that, let's do one thing. Let's create a new directory on any location of your system so that at least we can get started uh, with the creation of your project, right? So for that, let me just create a new directory here. So just write a name to it. Rasa open source 2.0, right? Now go inside that. And inside this, what exactly we have to do is we have to create a virtual environment so that all the dependencies and requirements should be installed into that environment. So for that, let's do one thing. Let's open the terminal for this location, right? So can you see I am onto this current directory where I have just created this new directory, right? So I am inside this. So I have magnified this now, right? So now let's start by creating the virtual environment first, right? So for that, there is a very simple command virtual environment hyphen P and just specify the Python version which you want to use over here. So in my case, I'm using Python 3.7. So I'm simply typing Python 3.7 and just after that, write the name of your virtual environment. So right now I'm giving it a very simple name VENV, which is the mostly used name, right? Now press enter. So you can see created virtual environment, which means your environment is created and now you can activate that, right? So firstly, let's verify. So can you see onto the current directory, I'm having VENV. Also, you can check it here, right? So this is how we have created that. And after that, just activate this. So to do the activation of this part, just do source VNV bin slash activate, right? So this is all about the Ubuntu system. And if you don't know like how to activate this part onto your Windows system, then don't worry. I will leave a link in the description for my blog where I have already mentioned that how you can do the activation of your environment onto the windows system right so let's press enter so here you can see the environment is activated now and inside this if i will check the pip list you will find that there is no uh, much packages for your environment right so right now what i have to do i have to install the packages i have to install all the packages for rasa 2.0 so for the installation part just simply type pip install rasa and press enter and after that what will happen is it will start downloading and installing all the packages and dependencies required for your rasa project and now it is going to take some time depending upon your internet speed so this is how it is going to work so let it finish All right, so as you can see, installation is done and all the packages are installed successfully. And right now, uh, what you can see in here is that 
there are some dependencies which should be resolved right so based on that scenic this requires multi dict version this but you will have version this so accordingly now it's up to you that how you are going to change this version so that you will not face any difficulties with that right so uh, you know how to do the installation part right so for that installation part right now what i will do is i will just uh, degrade this part i will just degrade scenic version so you can simply type pip install scenic 20.6.3 right and press enter so you will see it is installed successfully and let's try the same thing again now the last thing is numpy version so it requires the numpy version less than 1.19 and greater than and equal to 1.16 but we will have 1.19.3 so in this case let's change the numpy version as well okay there is no such version all right okay then one point okay no no my mistake i forgot to add the equals to all right so this is done now let's try this again can you see this time we didn't get any error right and even we didn't get any warnings right so now this means that we have successfully installed rasa onto the virtual environment which we just created and the version which we have installed that is 2.0 and let's just verify that so pip list so for the ubuntu system we have this command and we can directly grab that part that whether we have something related to this rasa or not so in this case we are having rasa 2.0.2 so this is the version for that and for the rasa sdk we have 2.0.0 so this is how we have simply installed rasa 2.0 onto your local machine and now you can further test that whether your rasa project is actually working or not so for that let's do one thing let's first create a very basic project so for that let's initialize the project right so right now if you will check onto your current directory you will not have anything right so let's add something so you know how to add it right so simply just type rasa init hyphen hyphen no hyphen prompt right and press enter so this will simply create a basic project for rasa 2.0 all right so we have initialized our rasa project now just check ls and you will see you will have all the files all the dependencies which are required for your project so we have all of them onto the current directory right and similarly now if you will check rasa shell right so you will be able to talk to your bot over here right so let it start so you can see here your rasa shell is running now simply say hi see hey how are you and let's say sad so here is something to cheer you up so this is an image you can open it up and you can check and you will find that image of that cub right so this is all about that and did that help yes let's say yes great carry on now let's stop it so this is a very basic project and this we have already seen in the previous version of rasa as well but what is the difference in that so let me show you the difference and the variation from the rasa 1.x to rasa 2.x so let me just show you that part because there are some variation there are some changes from rasa 1.x to 2.x so for that first let's go inside the data so in here you will find that instead of only having nlu.yml and stories.yml now you also have the rules.yml and also previously we don't have this as nlu.yml and stories.yml previously we were having it as nlu.md and stories.md so in this way we were having that file but now there is a variation there is a changes and in this way now we have nlu.yml and stories.yml and now when you will open it up you will see the data will be stored in some different way right so here you can see version is this nlu intent examples and all right so this is how you can see uh, your nlu data is being stored similarly if you will check for the stories 
so this is how you are going to add the stories now so if you will uh, check or let's say if you will compare it with the version 1.x you will see there is a lot of variation in between them right so don't worry about that we will discuss about them uh, in our upcoming videos right but for the understanding part i'm just showing you like what are the variations in there right so this is the rules part now go back and also check the domain file okay domain is not having any variations right so this is all about that and inside the configuration you will see by default there is no configuration set all the configurations are being commented right so this is all about this part and with respect to this also it is uh, making your bot work right now most of the policies and pipelines are commented but still it is working which simply means your basic pipelines and policies are already inbuilt in there so that means you don't have to add them but it can be used directly so this is the variation in between them and now let's wrap the session uh, over here only right and in the upcoming section i will show you that how and what are the variation in between them how you can use the intent how you can create the nlu data how you can add the stories and everything so we will see all of them in the upcoming session so that is it for today i hope you have got the proper understanding of how you can install the rasa 2.0 but still if you are facing any difficulties in the installation process or you are not able to uh, get rasa shell or something then you can feel free and leave a comment below in the comment section and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from my channel till then bye bye and happy learning